Hello. Hey, Julian Kraus here, and have you ever asked yourself what would happen if you connect two microphones together? Well, we're about to find out. So here I get two microphones, which I will connect together in a second, but first let's talk about what's happening when you connect two microphones back to back. First of all, if you would do this with two condenser microphones, obviously nothing will happen. Condenser mics need phantom power to operate, and if you connect two condenser mics, it will be quite unspectacular. But the two mics I got here are dynamic microphones. Why are we expecting these mics to transmit a signal? Well, the construction of a dynamic microphone is based on the same principle as a loudspeaker, only that it works in reverse. A speaker has a membrane with a wire coil attached, which is sitting inside a magnetic field. When you run electricity through the coil, the membrane starts to move, creating sound waves that you can hear. With a dynamic microphone, it's just the other way around. When wiggly air, excuse the technical jargon here, hits the diaphragm of the dynamic microphone, it will move the attached coil inside the magnetic field, which creates an equivalent electrical signal that you can record. So in theory, if you were to hook up a dynamic mic to an amplifier, you should be able to get some audio out of it. This of course also means that you should be able to use a speaker as a microphone. So let's try that first. Here I have a pair of headphones, which I simply connected to the microphone input of an audio interface. You're currently listening to the sound of the headphones, and I've set the gain on the interface to about 75%. This picks up my voice surprisingly well, though as expected the sound quality isn't that great. It sounds a bit tinny, but who am I to judge the sound quality of a microphone that's literally just a pair of headphones? Regardless, this proves the point that a speaker can be used as a microphone, and thus you should be able to use a microphone as a loudspeaker. So then, let's test this. Here I got a dynamic microphone, which I simply plugged into the audio output on an audio interface. I think this goes without saying, but please don't try this with your dynamic mics, this can definitely damage or destroy the microphone. With that out of the way, let's play a sine wave and slowly turn up the volume. You can clearly hear the sound coming from the microphone. Now, how about some music? Again, that worked surprisingly well. Of course, the mic puts out mostly high frequencies, as it cannot reproduce low frequencies as easily. Because of the small membrane, it acts more like a tweeter. By the way, this does not mean that the mic cannot capture a bass. The membrane of a microphone does not have to be big to capture low frequencies. Many people look at subwoofers which need big membranes to move a lot of air to reproduce bass, and then assume that it's the same for a microphone. That's definitely not the case, and even tiny mics can be designed to capture very low frequencies. But I digress. For shits and giggles, I measured the frequency response of this, let's call it, mic speaker, and here you can clearly see the drop-off in the lower frequencies. The music I was playing through the dynamic mic was also not that loud. The speakers in my smartphone can get louder, and I was already quite pushing it with the volume. Okay, now you know that a speaker can be used as a microphone, and a dynamic microphone can act as a speaker. So if you were to connect two dynamic microphones together, the one you speak into should work as a normal microphone, and the second one should work as a speaker, reproducing the sound that's captured by the first mic. I will record the sound from the second dynamic mic with a third microphone to let you hear the audio that's transmitted by this mic contraption. Okay, you're now listening to my voice speaking into the first dynamic microphone, which is connected to a second dynamic microphone, which is used as the speaker. I'm currently in another room, so all the audio that you're hearing is transmitted via the two dynamic microphones, connected directly back to back. You might be wondering why the sound is so bass heavy, well, the volume this setup produces is extremely low. To record any usable audio for you, I have to press my lips right against the first dynamic mic to produce the highest possible sound pressure, and on the mic speaker, I had to take the grill off to place the recording microphone as close to the membrane as physically possible. By doing this, I essentially doubled up the proximity effect, 
which accentuates the bass quite a bit. Nonetheless, I think this clearly demonstrates that you are able to transmit audio with two dynamic microphones connected back to back. So is this going to replace your trusty tin can telephone anytime soon? Well, I don't think so. It's an interesting setup and connecting two dynamic microphones to transmit audio kinda works, though sadly and kind of expected to be honest, the sound is really really low and in practice you're better off yelling than to use this to transmit your voice. Please leave a like if you found this interesting, feel free to subscribe and if you want you can support my videos on Patreon. I will see you all in the next one.